Good morning, everyone. Simon Holden here, the Sheriff of Tippingham. It's Wednesday, the 5th of July, just coming up to 9 a.m. Well, yesterday, Twilight Dancer, 14 to 1. I said, no way was that the outsider of the pack at Brighton. Was back to all rates in, went off 13 to 2. Came flying through. I wish he'd been a bit nearer earlier for third. So, decent profit on the bet. And my HFC club members were also on at Brighton with a 9 to 4 shot. Trained by Joseph Parr, who's the... Uh, grandson of alan the great alan bailey I think. and um that one by five and a half lengths so well done uh platinum went a bit awry but if you got the platinum bet yesterday you sent a free a uh, bonus platinum today so uh if you did come in on that my apologies but uh we uh we always take care of you and you've got a complimentary today right i want to look at the ladies derby that kicks off a really interesting card at epsom tonight uh, first, if you haven't seen our George Galloway, two videos back now, uh, political bet, 50 to one shot, loads of interesting stories. It's great fun. Still getting people coming in and see it and, and uh, emailing in. So thanks for that. Do check it out. There's a link to George's site below. And there's also a link to the HFC club below. Uh, like I say, you had a five and a half lengths uh, winner yesterday. We've got a really good free selection you get free bets every day and access to the best services and tipsters on the market. Right, let's get stuck into it. 620 Epsom. Now, uh, if you've seen the field, you'll be waiting for a load of dodgy fish puns from me. But I'll leave that to others. I won't do that at all. Um, I'm suffering from migraines, actually. Either that or it's just a bad had a headache, had a all oh, right. Never mind. Let's get on with it, shall we? This market is quite interesting. It's been very volatile. Now, female amateur jockeys has been, been quite a lot of money bet on this one tonight. It is a class four over the derby distance, one mile four, and it's the amateur women jockeys that take the stage Traily Hills. For the informed Serena Brotherton, she had a good winner at Ponty the other day. She really has had a long, successful amateur career. Uh, Tessie Ladd is the second favourite, seven to two. But there's, uh, I thought originally that that would be favourite. So Traley Hills is clearly fancied. Look, he's dreaming those Brookhouse colours, four to one. They're the top of the market. But we're going down to number five, Captain Haddock. Let's all do them together. 15 to 2 with Bet Victor's the best price in the village. I think there's going to be a big gamble on this. Heather Main is in superb form. And this one has got really strong back form. And she just, uh, including a course and distance win, she has her horses in superb form. She finished fourth of eight behind Unplugged. That's carted in again next time out and boosted that form. Violet Barton, I don't know a lot about the jockey, but I've been looking into it. She's a highly regarded five-pound claimer. Uh, Heather Main is in scintillating form. So we've got course and distance winner. We've got uh, proven it in its form. The form's been franked of its last success where it ran. It's back at Epsom tonight. Decent five-pound claimer on. I think this is set up for a big, big gamble. Captain Haddock, get that 15 to 2. I think this is going to be slam dunked tonight and could well be a real sizzler to start the Epsom card. So it's Captain Haddock in the first, the 620 at Epsom. If you can get that 15 to 2, we bet Victor 7 to 1 is available. I think this could go off 9 to 2. There you go. Holden Price warning. I think this could go off 9 to 2. Uh, enjoy today. And I'll be back tomorrow so all i've got to say is check out we've got george galloway vid i'll try and speak properly if you haven't seen it already uh if you're not in hfc club go to that link down and click it you'll get your first free selection today and i'll be back tomorrow keep it real we're on a roll this is holding sources the home of big price winners what's it called again um